is guys, the officially licensed K5 Blazer from FMS. Most of you guys are probably familiar with the FCX24 line. Those of you who are not, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to go do a little deep dive in this guy and uh, see what you can do. Alright, look at that. Man, she is beautiful. Such a nice truck. I've been waiting a little while for this to come in. Watched a lot of content, and I'll tell you what, man. Seeing this thing in person is night and day difference between seeing it on some videos. If you get a chance, guys, you should check it out in person. All right, let's uh, look under the hood here. So this has what we all come to know, the clipless body system. Makes things a lot easier when you clip that off. Generally when you do, be careful because these lights are usually uh, plugged in here. Um, however, I've been messing with it today so I didn't plug them back in. Alright, that's the underneath of the body. If you take, there's four screws down in there. If you take those off, you can pop this guy off and uh, make it a pickup truck K5 if you like. Alright. We got the two-speed transmission, metal gear portal axles, metal gear steering servo, the nice new strap system. They used to have the rubber band system. Um, my Smashers actually got the rubber band system. This is way better. I'm hoping FMS decides to make this an optional part that we can buy later on because that would be nice to have. You got the nylon chassis. You got your friction-based shocks. Um, these do not have oil in them. Uh, there is some O-rings that you can put in there so you can install your favorite oil, whatever you decide you like. If that's what you wanna do, I'd like to also mention that these are beadlock wheels. So if you don't like the tires, you can switch those out and keep these wheels. Um, so yeah, there's a whole lot of value here for you know the price, 150 bucks. Um, a little cheaper right now if you catch it on sale. Um, you also, I think at this point, I don't think you can get the pre-order bonuses anymore, but I'm not sure. So, but yeah, that's a pretty good look at her. The body does have a little damage. Um, I was playing with it a little bit already. Couldn't, couldn't uh, contain myself. I just had to. I actually ended up uh, rolling it off my course about three foot to the ground on the concrete and she held up just fine. Also like to do a little shout out to my wife for making me this cool little sticker. Here's the old instruction manual. Uh, your pretty typical instructions on most of these models around the same. You got nice exploded views so if you're a rookie this makes things a lot easier. This is actually how I learned a lot uh, just from working on them and stuff, kind of trial and error over the years. Of course, it comes in this nice packaging that we've all known to love, come to love from FMS. Uh, other than their quality, they have really good quality vehicles, in my opinion, and really quality parts. So inside, obviously, the truck would have been in there if I wasn't already jumping the gun and playing with it. Uh, we have the pre-order bonus, which is a nice Baja style bumper. We got the roof rack, optional roof rack for it if you want. Those are both the pre-order bonuses, so if you didn't make the pre-order, you will not get those. Um, this is the normal stuff that you generally get with it. Uh, there's a roll bar in there if you decide you want to make the pickup truck by taking the shell off. Uh, it also has like a Baja style uh, lighting rack doesn't come with the lights in the back you got to install those yourself um, the optional parts for the shocks are in there you got your wheel wrench your charger and a couple different sets of license plates if you decide you don't want the Texas plates um, like I said before I think this is an incredible value for $150 um, there's a lot there. I mean, you know, most of these rigs, you order them, you, you get plastic servos, plastic 
uh, gears in the axles, stuff like that. This one's ready to go, already good to take a beating. Um, go over the transmitter a little bit, your basic FMS transmitter. You got your two-speed transmission. I'm in low gear right now. You push that, go to high, you go to the middle if you want neutral. Um, when you plug it in, if you want the headlights on, you just tap the bind button, wait a second, and they will come on. I like these remotes a lot. They're very comfortable in the hands, very easy to use. They're not big and bulky like most of your 110 scale or bigger trucks. Um, yeah, it's a very comfortable remote. As you can see on the box, this bad boy comes in three different colors. Something about this brown stuck out to me. I don't know if it's because I'm a big fan of root beer, but I just, I don't know, I fell in love with this one. Normally I'd be the guy that would go for the orange and white or maybe even the solid black, but this one was just calling my name, so that's what I went with. Either way, you can't go wrong. All three of these colors are beautiful. So you get your hands on one of these, no matter what color it is, you got yourself a nice truck. So that being said, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and put some run footage out here. That's my favorite part. And uh, yeah, let's get to it.
All right, we just got done taking her for a spin. Um, she handled about as well as you would think for a hard body truck, uh, fresh out of the box. Um, she could definitely use a different set of tires, I feel like. These are very stiff. The shocks aren't bad, but you get a lot of bo body bounce. I think I'm going to go ahead and put um, some shock oil in those, kind of see how that works out. And we'll maybe get some upgrades later. We'll see. Uh, something I forgot to mention earlier is this truck is completely ready to run. You just need four AAA batteries. Um, and you're pretty much good to go. Comes with a charger, everything you need to get going. So any of you guys that are not familiar with RC that are watching my videos and wanting to learn a little bit, I throw that in there for you. Um, this, like I said in earlier, this is an incredible value for $150. Uh, it's an amazing truck, hard body. I mean, you just you get a lot of value here. There's no no way around it. Um, I'm extremely happy with the purchase. I'm looking forward to actually maybe getting one or two more of these. I might even get one of every color. We'll see. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. I got more parts on the way for this truck. Once I get them on there, I'm going to do some more update videos, uh, more run videos. Uh, it's going to be a blast, man. I have a, a lot of things I'm going to do to this truck. And um, it's going to look a lot different this next time around. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Something else I wanted to show you guys. You can swap the bodies with the Smasher. Uh, you can also do the same with the Power Wagon. Pretty much all the FCX24s have the same exact chassis with the same exact clipping system. And man, I tell you. Swapping these things, holy crap, does this look awesome.